Okay, so here's the car. It's been, I'll tell you a little story about what happened. It's been sitting a year, so I made a big move from California to the Midwest, and the car had blown a head gasket, and I couldn't figure out why. Well, be careful on what kind of fuel lines you run. I should have bought the Vibrant. They were twice as much, but I should have brought the Vibrant. So what happened was, one of the fuel lines sprung a leak. It caused my fuel to run lean, and then I popped the head gasket. The engine's fine, though. It's not blown up. It just has a leaky head gasket. You can still drive it, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna I'm actually here, and I haven't posted a video in a while to do my um, all-wheel drive update. So I'm gonna get started now and finish the all-wheel drive conversion on it. And there's my wave track. I have an LSD in it already. And then here's my case to add and add my wave track. And that's my homemade um, motor mount right there. I had I made those for my other cars and they're still holding up five years later. I made one for my MDX. Made the R this RSX actually has one. I have the front bumper off right now. So I'm gonna move I'm gonna move the car over in the garage and I have a gravy built um, diff that's been sitting in my closet for several years so I'm gonna get started and do this update but because it's leaking ethanol everywhere what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the opposite instead of starting from the engine and doing all that I'm gonna go ahead and take the gas tank out and start uh, hooking up the differential I'll do that in my next video and I'll do it step by step because I've I've done this before, but it was on another car. It wasn't on my own car. I had some of the parts on here. This car has energy suspension bushing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do mine a little bit different. I'm gonna actually keep the stock gas tank, but I'm gonna move the stock gas tank into the trunk area, and then I'm gonna brace it for the diff, and then I'm gonna weld a sheet piece of sheet metal over the top of it, and then cut a pocket out on the bottom so I can slide the gas tank in the trunk from the back of the car but it'll be sealed off from the cab so it'll just like have a cut out of it and I'll slide the gas tank in there because I want an OEM gas tank and I can get a Honda N-Box gas tank but it only holds like 8 gallons of fuel and I want to be able to drive cross country or do whatever and keep my 12 plus gallons and do that but yeah I got I'm gonna get started and start doing this and I'll do a step-by-step -step process on how I do it and thanks for watching